Have you ever wondered what separates the top 1% earners in network marketing from the rest? Today, we have got their secret sauce. We are literally getting the roadmap to success directly from the top 1% earners in my company. I was recently on an exclusive trip with them in Tanzania. So I had the opportunity to interview them directly. These are individuals who have consistently outperformed in various niches, proving that their strategies are not only versatile, but also highly effective. Whether you are a seasoned network marketer or just embarking on this amazing journey, these advices are designed to be straightforward and actionable, offering you the keys to accelerate your business. We all love secret tips, a useful guide to help us achieve a goal faster. But apart from tips, what is more important is the source of the information. And for anyone getting started in network marketing, recruiting is a very important part of the business that you must get right. Many proceed by trial and error, but this approach only wastes time. And when you fail, you may be discouraged from getting further. As a professional coach, I believe the right approach to anything, including business, is excellent focus. With my background as a professional coach and helping athletes to win Olympic medals and world championship titles, I strongly believe in the power of focus to enable you to achieve good results. So while different people may adopt different strategies to get their business going, I was interested in getting the best hidden secrets in the network marketing industry. And to achieve this, I interviewed some of the top earners and leaders in the industry. To even make it more interesting, I ask for their number one advice and tip for effective recruiting. I wanted to know what they would do differently if they were to start network marketing all over again. These top leaders understand that the secret lies in finding the 20% of effort that will produce 80% of the desired results. So let's get right into it. The first leader I met disclosed how he already has thousands of customers in his business. But what struck me the most in our conversation was a point he made about attraction. It really blew my mind. If you want to attract the right people, become an attractive person. So if you have something to offer like security and you do what you tell them what to do, you don't have to search for them, they will find you. So I'm sitting here with Eric Alkanovichta from the Netherlands, uh, a top earner in the industry. So how long have you been involved in network marketing in total? I would say around 10 years. Around 10 years? Yes. And um, approximately what's the size of your organization right now? Right now over a thousand business partners and I would say near 10,000 customers. Near 10,000 customers, that's, that's amazing. So in this... Very good, yeah. Yeah, in this um, process, how, how many... Will, Business partners, have you been recruiting on your own? Do you tell, approximately tell us the number? From this company currently, maybe around 175. 175 business Yes. Partners. So and how would you sum it up with uh, one or two words? <sighs> yeah. Talk to people, listen to what their needs are and help them with their needs and they will follow you. I think that's an amazing recruiting advice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Looking forward to see more of your success. Thank you. Interesting, right? It is important to practice this and not just have it as some passive knowledge. Invest in yourself now. As you are building your network, be strategic about it. And that's why this tip from this next guest is even more timely. After building his business for about 10 years and getting more than 120,000 customers, his tip on communication completely changed my approach to recruitment. So hello everybody, I'm sitting here uh, together with Lane Card Quartal, one of the top leaders in the industry. So Lane, how long have you been in network marketing? I've been in network marketing uh, around six, uh, 10 years. 10 years? 10 years now, yeah. Well, that's a quite, quite long time already. So. How big is the organization approximately? Can you can you tell us a number? Uh, built in ten years. We built in ten years about uh, one hundred and twenty thousand customers and about thirteen thousand business partners in our team. Oh, that's amazing! Very proud. Very that's, proud. That's really that's an achievement. Yeah. How, how many of those business partners have you recruited on your own? Who approximately? Around fifty. Around fifty. No, I think. So that was the base for building 130,000, you said, customers? Yes, yes. And what is your number one recruiting advice for the people watching? 
My number one recruiting advice is that uh, when you talk to people, uh, relate. So, uh, and let them talk. It's about uh, showing interest in them. And when you do that, then after that you can say something about the business. But the most important thing is that you relate. That you've got a connection with the, with the other people. And then everything goes uh, very easy. Okay, so follow that and you have the secret to building an organization with 130,000 customers. Go for it. This is indeed practical advice. Because I know that a lot of people are looking for shortcuts and quick fixes while building their network marketing business. So far, we have discussed strategies and frameworks that will help you to get results in a reasonable time. This way, you won't have to waste time in trial and error. The next set of interviews from top leaders in the industry will contain useful tips and strategies that will help you achieve long-lasting success in recruiting. So, in this next one, our guest shares the power of transformation. What she shared made me realize that most times the best way to get what you want is to become what you want. She says it even better. Look at this. So, hello everybody. I'm sitting here with Sandra Quartlin, one of the top leaders of the network marketing industry from the Netherlands. So, Sandra, how long have you been involved in the network marketing? I've been involved in network marketing since 10 years. 10 years, that's an amazing good time. So in these 10 years, I'm sure you have recruited a lot of people and you, because you have built a huge organization. So can you share with us your number one recruiting advice? Uh, my number one recruiting advice is um, that I trust the process and that I'm here. I just want to be what I am, who I am, and I live my purpose. and want to be a beautiful person because I believe in the law of attraction and that I attract the right people on the right moment. So I trust the process and I attract so many beautiful people who share the same purpose here uh, on earth. And that is that we want to change the world and make it a better place. Okay, thank you very much. That was an answer. Thank Although you. it's a advice and you have a secret. Okay, let's pause here for a moment. There is one thing you need to get right before continuing watching and getting all the magic advices from the guests I got to interview. I just want to point out that while you may be enjoying these amazing tips from the top earners in the industry, it is important that you also use their wisdom as a guide to craft your own number one recruiting strategy. But, and here comes the big but, it's not just enough to know these tips and strategies. It's not even enough to develop your own strategy. You must ensure you apply daily and consistently until you start to see meaningful results. As I have observed, a lot of people learn these tips, but they fail to get into action. They learn it, they know it, but then they fail to practice them consistently. That's why this point from our next guest is very valid. She has personally recruited about 300 business partners directly to her network. And her recruitment advice is really relevant. Look at this. So hello everybody. I'm sitting here with Irene Heschekolo from Austria. She is also one of the top leaders of the network marketing industry. So, hello. <laughs> so Irene, so how long have you been involved into the network marketing industry? I've been involved in the, uh, in the market, network marketing industry since about uh, 2006. 2006, that's when I calculate almost 20 years now. Yes. Do you know approximately how many business partners uh, you have recruited on your own during these almost 20 years? Oh, no. If you would guess, how much, how many? Uh, if I would guess, I think it's over two or three hundred. Two or three hundred yeah. business partners yeah. personally recruited. Yeah. So, and this brings us to the most important question. What is your number one recruiting advice for all our people watching this video? Love your product, be excited, be authentic and uh, love your life. Yes. Thank you. I think that's an amazing advice and I'm looking forward to see you practice this in your business. Thank you. Amazing, right? This next recruiting advice from a veteran with more than 25 years experience in the industry makes you see why he is among the top 1% earners in the industry and has successfully recruited 
hundreds of business partners and sold to thousands of customers. So, hello everybody. I'm sitting here with Tony Nielsen from Denmark, also one of the top earners in the network marketing industry. So, Tony, for how long time have you been involved into network marketing? Oh, in total, in total, in yeah. total, it's actually I think it's close to 25 years. 25 years. Yeah, that's amazing. Long time. So you got quite some experience, right? I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's full time, actually, yeah. full time, full time, 25 yeah. years, full time. That, that's amazing. Yeah. So, how big is the organization, approximately, what you have been building during this? Uh, People-wise or revenue-wise? I People think uh, approximately uh, around 50,000 50, plus customers. Right. And I would say about between two and two and a half thousand business partners. This, this is a really amazing number. So, Tony, one, one question to you. That's the most important question for all the people watching this video. What is your number one recruiting advice for them? Okay, it's. It, I think it's kind of an easy answer because I think it the most important, you know, recruiting tool or to attract other people is to recruit. You have to recruit yourself first, because the thing is, you know, when you when you and to be a little bit more specific, because this is why it's so important to have a plan and to break it down because you need you need a goal and a plan, but you need to believe in the project and you have to believe in yourself. And when you really believe in yourself, this is when you attract other people. Because the thing is, if you don't recruit yourself first and you really don't believe in yourself, other pop people won't believe you either. So this is what I think is the most important. That was spot on. So thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, take that advice and good luck for your business. Thank you. So far, one key point has stood out among all the guests. That point? in a way summarized my personal and number one recruiting advice. But before I share that, let's hear what this next guest, who has spent the last 12 years building his business, has to say about his recruitment strategy. Hello everybody, I'm sitting here with Nicola Heinz from Denmark, also one of the top leaders in the industry. So Nico, how long have you been involved into the network marketing industry? I have been here for almost all my working life, that's 12 years. So, um, yeah, for 12 years, since 2012. So you, when you say all your working life, when did you start? How old have you been? 22 years old. 22 years yeah. old. Yeah. And that's amazing. So, so you started the journey very early. So in this um, last 12 years, can you tell me approximately how big is the organization you have been building customer-wise? Almost 50,000 customers. Almost 50,000 customers. 50, customers. Yes. So I'm also sure that you recruited a lot of uh, distributors yourself. Yes. Do you know approximately the number? How, how many you recruited on your own? I actually know that. Um, I know that number. And it's around 60 business partners the last 12 years. 60 business partners on your own. And this brings me to the main question. What is your number one recruiting advice for our audience? That is to really roll the dice, plant the seed and talk to people. Because if you open your mouth and you, you talk to people, you will... You, possibilities will find you as well so i really believe that the number one recruiting tip is to talk to as many people as possible and just to try to start conversation to find if the timing is right for them to be open to a new possibility because i believe and that's the next part of it that if you just keep on talking to people and you keep on following up with people at some point in their life, I think the timing will be right for them to start a network part. So thank you, that was an amazing advice. Yeah. So yeah, I really like his point on rolling the dice and planting the seeds. If you recall in one of our previous videos, I mentioned this so many times, how important it is to have a big contact list. The more contacts you have, the more number of people you can reach out to and with that, the higher your chances of getting more business partners is. We still have three more guests who will share their powerful network marketing recruiting tips. But before I show that to you, I want to share my personal number one recruiting advice. In my own experience, while it is important to meet people and talk with them about the product, it is even more appropriate to take this approach. Stop selling and start solving problems. I will explain. 
How many have a mindset about network marketing? And this mindset limits how far your business can grow and how successful you can be in recruiting new guys into your business. Many people are scared about network marketing because they think it's all about selling stuff and they hate the idea of being a salesperson. But that's not the true, not at all. The real magic in any business, including in network marketing, is solving people's problem. The more problems you solve, the more your business will grow. In network marketing, it doesn't even matter what product or service you offer. What matters is understanding people's challenges and finding a way to help them. Instead of pushing your product to them, try listening to their needs. Figure out where they are struggling and how your product or service can make their lives a little bit better. By focusing on solving problems rather than selling, you'll attract more customers and business partners to join your team. So stop selling and start solving problems. That's the key to success in network marketing. And this next couple agrees with me. They are superstar top level network marketers and here is what they say is their number one recruiting advice. Hello, my name is Esther Hanas. I'm from Poland. I have 31. So now I am the happy wife. I, my name is Kevin. I'm from Poland too. I'm the happiest part of this, you know, family. So how long have you been in the network marketing industry so far? In the network marketing industry, we are eight years. So with all the learnings and the experience you collect over the eight years, how big of a team have you been building on these eight years? But our story is a li little bit, you know, different because we be one of the fastest when we started, then we broke everything. But my wife say we can do it again. And we start 2020, I think yeah. 2021. And now our average in every month, we have three or three and a half thousand customers in every month. Then now we have more than 40,000 uh, people in our organization. That's an amazing story. <laughs> so, for, for all the people watching this video, can you give them your number one, each of you, your number one recruiting advice for them when they start in network marketing? That is the good question, but this is not easy question. If you have the clear uh, vision of what you want to be the person, what you want to show the people, then people will be following you because they will be know why are you doing what you're doing now. Yes, the strong why. Some months back, I shared my origin story and how I had to find my strong why to keep me anchored in the business and not drift away. That was just the force that propelled me forward. This why kept me pushing forward after I lost my first business. And our next guest, who has been in this business for more than 24 years, emphasize this same resilience. She summarizes the secret to her success in these words. Hello everybody, I'm sitting here with Sabine Kuschel from Austria and she is one of the top leaders of the network marketing industry. Sabine, for how long have you been involved into the network marketing? No, it's exactly 24 years. 24 years. That's commitment and resilience and persistence in, in one, 24 years being in, in the industry. So in these 24 years, um, how big is the organization you have been building uh, during this time? Now it's a really big organization. I have about 34, 40, uh, 34,000 customers and a lot of business partners. they doing a quite a huge job. Okay, you also meant that, uh, you mentioned that you have a lot of business partners. Do you remember or do you know approximately how many of these uh, distributors you have recruited on your own? I know it exactly since 47. And you total it, it's more than 4,000. Okay, so 47 you have recruited on your own. Yes. Um, in these 24 years or? No, I started new in seven and a half years with, with another company and. Okay, since then. Since then, yeah. Very good. So, what do you think in this, approximately in the whole 24 years, how many people have you recruited? More than 100? More than 100? 150? I don't know. You, don't, you can't. So, a lot. It, it was a lot, yeah. It's a lot. Okay, so for our audience, the most important question of all what is your number one? recruiting advice for them so that they are able to recruit 100 plus distributors for their organization. 
Um, I think that um, people outside, they need your product more and they need, they need also your business more than you need the money. And when you have this um, mindset, then it's the opportunity for them. And this is my, this is my goal. So if I got it right, it means that uh, to have the, the mindset that it's not about the money you can earn when you recruit somebody, then more than helping others to have a benefit from your product or from your business opportunity yeah. or the service or whatever you provide. But you need a good product. Okay. And a good compensation as well. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sabine's point on understanding the need for your products and how it is important to believe in its real needs clearly shows just how the top guys in the business approach recruitment. And it is this mentality that helps them have the results they have seen so far. Our final guest is among the top 1% in the industry. Despite starting at the young age of 19 years and having just a high school diploma, her recruitment advice is really practical and insightful. So hello everybody, I'm sitting here with Mette Brand Fredriksen from Denmark. And Mette, one question to you. How long have you been involved into the network marketing industry? Actually, I've been with this industry for it's 12 years this summer. So it's quite a long time now. I started when I was only 19. So this is, uh, this is actually what I knew and what I know to build uh, a career. So you're one of the privileged people that got introduced into this industry before they turned 20. I really admire this one. Yeah, that's that's different. You know, I started as a 19 year old girl with only high school as background. I didn't have any clue about building a business, doing something with people, being a fun picture. I don't have a clue. So this was completely new and I'm really a product of just learning it all the way. So and on the way, hmm. how big have you built the organization in these last 12 years approximately? I would say today it's it's almost 50,000 customers that are, you know, buying, using our products on a monthly basis. So it's a lot of people throughout Europe. That's that's an amazing number. Yeah. So do you also know or can you tell us how many of the distributors you have uh, recruited on your own on the way? Hmm. That's funny because some years back, me and my husband actually sat down and looked through the numbers to find out how, how have we done and what have we actually done ourselves in order to have what we have today. And the number we came up with is around, I think it's around 65, 67 people in total that we have involved ourselves to the industry, which has become like, you know, 50,000 customers today and partners that are in this organization. That's the beauty of the leverage effect. That's what I love about network marketing. Yeah. So can you share with our audience your number one recruiting advice? I would say that's just be you. You have to understand that people buy you before they buy what you want to show them. It's all about you, your energy, be yourself, your vision, um, your story, your journey, what you want and why you're here. That, that's what people are buying into and they are following you more than what you have to offer. So be yourself. Be yourself. That's a very good one. Thank you very much, Thank Mette. You. And all the best to you. And this brings us to the end of this video. The top earners in network marketing have all shared their advice. And to conclude, I will say the number one recruiting advice is to find what works best for you. Once you have figured out your personal number one recruitment strategy, take massive action on it and make it happen. Build the foundation of your business with this strategy and then expand it within your team. Thank you for watching until the end. Check out our videos for more useful strategies and tips on recruiting. Until next time, bye bye.